Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another episode of Pixelmon, everybody. Today, on this amazing Tuesday afternoon, that's right, I forgot I upload these videos at, th at 3 o'clock. Um, uh, yeah, guys, I want you guys to let me know right now, before you even start watching this video, how is your day going in the comments? I would honestly like to know and hear about it, and I'll also reply back to you, so love to hear about that. I don't know if you could hear my... Can you guys hear this? I don't know if you can. I don't know if my mic picks up. I don't even know what mic what my mic picks up. Yeah, that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, guys, we're turning to pick some on. I hope you guys did enjoy the um, mod review I uploaded yesterday. It was definitely a good one. Hopefully, if it did upload, if it didn't, then this is gonna sound really stupid right now. But it's okay because today, guys, we're in the world of pick some on. And to be honest, calling out my Monferno, I don't know what we're doing today. I'm going this episode completely no holds barred. I don't know what we're going to be doing. Hopefully we'll find a legendary. Maybe. Hopefully. It's never going to happen. But on that note, I, if anything we can do, we always do and just hunt for bosses because we need to get more items just so we can start leveling up our Pokemon. I would love to get all the XP shares, but oh, wait a minute. I actually know what we're doing today, and that's getting this chicken out of my inventory. Oh, wait. Did you guys see? Did you guys see? I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that's right, guys. It's happening. We're building it. We're making our enchantment table finally because last episode, if you guys missed it, I definitely recommend checking it out. But, sp hashtag spoilers, this is what we're doing. We actually found some obsidian out of, was it a village or a lucky block? I think it yeah, it was a village. It definitely was a village that we got it from. And, what? yeah. So, we actually got seven obsidian. And I think I threw them in this chest. Yeah, the XS3. So, we... Do you actually have enough to make the other enchantment table as well? But I'm going to save that for another episode. Currently, right now, we're just going to make the first enchantment table. And I did want to make the bookshelves, but I forgot about that. And kind of... Yeah, why is that chest in there? But we actually do have a ton of... We don't have wood. That's the problem. We do not have a lot of wood to get the bookshelves ready. But we do. Have, we can't make the enchantment table, so we're definitely going to be doing that at the start of this episode. But I wanted to say before we do that, guys... If you are excited and ready to see more Pixelmon, hit that like button right now. Also, subscribe to the channel because we do different modded stuff like this every single day of the week. And I addressed that whole week thing last video. So if you guys missed yesterday's video, check that one out too as well because I explained the definition of a, quote, week. But anyways, guys, let's get this started. So I guess, yeah, let's craft our enchantment table. So if you guys have never seen or crafted an enchantment table before... It's going to be a treat for you guys. So if I do this right here, as you can see, I've made a weird, like, upside down T of obsidian. I've placed my two diamonds on the left and right side of said T, and then I've placed the book on top, and bam! Obsidian. I was about to call it an obsidian table. Enchantment table, everyone. And I'm just going to plop that down right here for now, honestly, because we do not have a thing set up for it yet. So enchantment table is going to go down right here. Do not worry. It's not going to be destroyed or anything, and... It looks like they're all gone, sadly. I was, there was a whole entire flock of um, mill tank here, and I was going to slaughter them all, but unfortunately they're gone and replaced with the Arbok. It's so sad. But, um, hey, we got a nice enchantment table here, so I think we should probably kick this off with enchanting something. So let me grab up my Lapis Lazuli. As you can see, we have so much of it. Um, I'm actually going to get a chest. Why not the iron chest? Um and place it down right here for now and just place all these in here because obsidian as you know is fueled to enchant stuff in 1.8 and above so let's just do this really quickly and what am i going to enchant you may ask my shovel just because i can not and since we are also above 1.8 we can check our little um thing here and tell us what we're going to get on it for the prices of my levels now i have 63 levels i'm honestly saving those up to do the level 30 enchants but right now we're just going to plop a level 5 efficiency 2 on our diamond shovel bam and we got our lapis that's going to plop back in there. And now we got an enchanted shovel. So our first enchanted item of the series is a shovel. Do not worry, I have all my armor in this chest here. My galactic armor, which is my favorite, um, I guess you could say, villains of all Pokemon is Team Galactic. So I'm going to have those guys' armor prepared and ready to be wearing. And it's too bad you can't wear the bosses stuff, like all the different, like, Giovanni from Team Rocket, um... I forget the other one's name is Cyrus from Team Galactic, obviously. But yeah, too bad you can't actually like wear the customized versions, only like the grunts, I guess you can have their armor. So yeah, modder of Pixmon, great modding team, I should say, of Pixmon. If you're watching this video, definitely um just a suggestion, throw it out there. Get the armors for the um bosses. Or actually have them spawn in, that'd be even way cooler. But speaking of bosses to fight, 
we gotta head over to our um lovely areas to fight our bosses so first up we got our our big fiery Mon monferno yeah i guess that works out fiery monferno we're gonna be fighting with our team magma grunt here uh the legendary boss and as we always know he's gonna throw out i think it's here wait don't tell me it's gonna be seal and umbreon so let's do this guys and like i said seal and umbreon so as we know we're gonna just for Monferno's purpose, just mock punch Umbreon doesn't really matter. Shield on Toxic on Seal this time. And he's gonna switch out Umbreon, that's right. So it doesn't matter. Mock Punch hits the Flareon. Seal Seal does seal stuff. And we got the Toxic on Seal. So now Toxic is poisoning Seal. Perfect. Now Monferno's kindly use I didn't want to select Ember. Can I go back? Yes. Select mock punch for seal. And use Toxic on Flareon, Shield on if you would. And unfortunately, they're both dead because of Lava Plume. I love whenever he uses Lava Plume, Seal uses the Aurora, uh, Aurora Beam, but it missed everything. Flareon. That's fair enough. All right. For Alligator, you're up. Tropius, you're up. Which Tropius, if you guys missed, I think, two episodes Flareon. worth of um, the series, we have a Tropius now on our team, and he is definitely ready to fight. Flareon. We're going to head off with a Water Gun on Flareon, Flareon, since Water Fire, you know how it is. And Seal, you're honestly going to get Flareon. a Leaf Storm since you're water type soap and lava plume of course again is just going to be Flareon. lava plume for alligator survived the lava plume though and got hit with an icy wind but again survived seal. water gun hits seal has not taken damage yet carvana you are up seal is Flareon. definitely going to die okay. this round um water gun once more in flareon and carvana seal. if you would like to use i will have to use ice flame Flareon. ice flame Flareon. ice fang on flareon and he swaps out for clink all right, and Clink has died. Rest in peace, Clink. All right, so Clink's died, Carvana's died, for alligators died, everyone's dead. All we have left is our Gyarados versus everything great. All right, Gyarados, you're going to use Dragon Rage on Flareon. You got this, Gyarados, and Electro, Electro Ball. Flaffy used Electro Ball on Gyarados. Rip. Gyarados. All right, slash P heal. Let's heal up all our Pokemon. That did not go as planned, unfortunately. But we got one more boss to fight, so let's head over to him at spawn. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Homer Simpson. Let's do this. All right, and he's got his 75 level Infernape. And we have learned from this extra level that he got last episode that Monferno can no longer be beaten by my Infernape. And yes, I just said that backwards. My, Inferno my Monferno can no longer be beat. His Infernape can no longer be beaten by my Monferno. Yes. And I'm realizing now I sent out Monferno, so... You know what, actually? We're gonna run real quick and forfeit that fight because we did not mean to do that. Alright, Shield on, you always go first. Shield on, use Toxic. Flamethrower, survive. Toxic, badly poisoned. Perfect. And Shield on, just... Um, oh, wait, no. I always swap him out in case he does die. Tropius, you're up. I did this be... He lived? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know grass types could survive from fire type attacks. I didn't honestly know what he Inferno. sent at me. I think it probably was mock punch. That was interesting. But we got an extra hit off. Good job. Carvana, you're up. I want you to use Inferno. assurance. And it didn't work, but doesn't matter because Infernape's taking more damage. Perfect. For alligator, you're up again. Use Perfect. water gun, flamethrower. Oh, he survived. Perfect. Wait, could he serve? He won. He beat him. He beat him, guys. He beat him at. Oh, no. Look at all those levels, by the way. Um, we're fighting an Articuno, but I don't see it on the board. Um, bite. Hidden power. Oh, there it is, guys. The Articuno of dreams. All right, shield on. Buddy, pal, use toxic. Uh-oh. Yes, I just tried to use toxic on Articuno. Um, Gyarados. You can fight an Articuno, can't you? Use Dragon Rage. Oh, it missed. Oh my gosh, that actually did damage. Use Dragon Rage. Okay. It's okay, we can do this, guys. My Monferno can beat him. He's an ice type. Use flame wind power, and he's dead. You know what? I don't care. Because you want to know why? We gained so many levels from that. My for alligator gained a ton of levels. He's now level 33. I think Tropius gained a level. Not sure about that. He might have. I don't know. And Shieldon has, in fact, gained a level. So he's now stronger than Carvana on the food chain we got here going. So. It now goes in order from strongest Monferno, Gyarados, for alligator. Gyarados and Fralligator are very too much tied, even on almost HP, HP standards. Tropius 
And Shield Owner now tied, but Tropy still has good lead in HP, so he's staying up there higher. And Carvana is now, sadly, the weakest link. Sorry, Carvana. I'm just going to have to get rid of you. Nah, I'm Carvana. just kidding, but you know we, what I'm not kidding about is the fact Magikarp. that that's a very big Magikarp that's going to get fed to my uh, Monferno. We need to start gaining Magikarp. speed levels. It's definitely important that our Pokemon gain speed, so I'm going to actually feed Shield on a little bit of speed now, Magikarp. too. Shield on, use hidden power just to get a little bit of speed out of that. I think there's another one over here. Yeah, just use another hidden power. Perfect. All right, let me actually check the EVs on Shield on. Shield on's got attack in his speed is being increased that's good all right i was just wondering what he's got on there and um i do read the comments guys i did see um a few people were suggesting in fact it, it might have just been one person i'm not entirely sure but said um to to check my evs and ivs on my pokemon don't worry guys i do i do try to remember to do that um if it so happens that i do forget to feel free just to comment down below definitely will help out in the series in case I catch something new and everyone's like Ladybug. you didn't check its stats it could be trash let's be honest guys all my Pokemon are trash I mean have you seen their Ivies and Eevees oh wait you probably haven't because I rarely show them but let me just show you guys right now in case you have not seen before so if I do slash Ivies I'm just gonna show off the Ivies right now so Ivies one my Monferno is trash my Gyarados is tr even more trash my Feraligator is kind of not trash my Tropis is literally a dumpster. Um, my shield one actually, eh, kind of, but still trash. And finally, my Carvana is trash. So as you guys can see, for alligators, my best bet, and he's only got what is it, 63? And what is that in the water? It's a low tad. I honestly had no clue what that was. It looks so strange. I was like, D don't tell me they added a new Pokemon without me knowing. Of course, I should know. Everything added in. Come on, I've been doing Pixamon for like how many episodes now? I should know every single Pokemon that's on in this game. <laughs> that being said, there's Gligar. another one I haven't seen. Oh yeah, no, no that's Gulp, and I've seen him. Um. Gligar. That being said, um, I wanted to say something, guys. I don't know if you've heard, but there's this game. Now I sure I know the moment I say the name everyone's gonna jump and be like, of course we know what that is. But anyway, in case you haven't, there's this game called Ark Survival Evolved. Yeah. It's a dinosaur game. It's basically you run around tame dinosaurs, etc. Well, a mod creator has actually created a Pokemon mod for Ark, and it has actual 3D models, kind of like how Minecraft has these 3D models, like those kinds of 3D models in Ark, and you can actually tame and Tree, they're basically like Pokemon, but they're treated as dinosaurs, so you like tame them and ride them around and stuff. Basically, it's basically this, but a different form of it. So, like, instead of catching Pokemon, you quote tame them, and yes, they can actually die, they don't faint. Like, y you literally murder them, and then you have to like harvest their corpses. And I know this is getting to a really dark topic in Pokemon, and I know this does exist in the lore of Pokemon, but anyway, my point. If you guys would l like be interested in honestly seeing a series on the channel that involves that, comment that down below. Now, I know my channel is 110% Minecraft currently, and I honestly want to keep it that way. But if any of you would like to see like a Pokemon style other than Minecraft series, and I'm saying this on this video because this is the Pokemon video technically for the channel. So if you guys would like to see a Pokemon-esque style series that isn't Minecraft but kind of is like Minecraft, definitely comment down below saying. Now, of course, like if one person comments, I'm probably not going to. I need like probably about 50%, 50%. That's a little bit of a stretch. Probably at least 25%. Of the um, people that have watched this video commenting saying, yes, we'd like to see that. If not, then don't worry. It's probably not going to happen. But again, it might still happen. I'm not entirely sure. This is the same thing happened on that Call of Duty video I posted. Jeez. So I guess that my channel isn't 100%. It's 99.9% .9 Minecraft at that point. Huh. Well, might as well stain it more. But um, anyways, guys, enough uh, talking about this topic. If you guys do want to see a bottom line, just comment saying, yes, I'd like to see that. No, don't do it. I don't know. Do it. Who cares? Anyway, anyways, guys, it's completely up to you. I don't personally care. I would be definitely into it and not into it either way. So, again, it's up to you. Back on the matter at hand here, has anyone noticed there's, like, rarely any Pokemon around me? There's a Hypno. Um, but other than that, I don't see much of anything. 
Like, where is everything? And where are the bosses? Do I seriously have to increase the boss spawn rate? I don't want to have to do that, but I will. Just kidding, I won't, because it's, like, set at a perfect balancing rate. So, there's no need to, but there are magic carp here, so... Shield on, buddy, pal, you want to increase your levels a little bit? I didn't want to use toxic, that's not going to help me at all. Hidden power. Magikarp. Honestly, shield on, whenever you evolve into Bastiodon, you're going to love life, because you're going to be a tank. And you're going to be able to pull off, like, three to four toxics before you die. Isn't that great? Honestly... When it comes down to beating those two bosses, Shieldon's going to be my crutch. Like, if I don't have him, it's going to be over, because, like, I'm forcing Pokemon to switch out. That's the best thing about their AI, the bosses, is they're programmed to, their Pokemon's, like, in danger. Hello, casual Team Rocket member. But yeah, if their Pokemon's in danger, they will honestly switch out. And if they do that, then I can Toxic another Pokemon and just keep up the cycle. So, it's, it's kind of like reverse psychology on bot standards. <laughs> But, speaking of reverse ecology on bots, I'm gonna wreck you, bot. That's right, I'm fighting this level 4 team rocket turner. I don't care if my highest level is 35, we're gonna do it! Goal bad. Alright, um, poison type, poison flying type, you're weak to everything that I don't have right now, so I'm just gonna- Oh. Oh. Right, fighting flying, I get the picture. Alright, what are you weak to? You're weak to ground and psychic. Yeah. Shield on. You wanna take him on with use toxic, use toxic, use toxic. No, he's a poison type. Crap, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Why? Why did you people let me talk myself into this fight? Gyarados, you can save us. Yeah, that's right. Dragon Rage, take that. You can't beat Gyarados because he's strong, and he's definitely gonna wreck you. Yep, he did, and he leveled up too. And now we're just gonna stop rhyming and heal up our Pokemon. And so would you, too. I really need to stop. Um, but yeah, Gyarados level 34. Great stuff, man, great stuff. Now, here's the real talk. We need to... That is a big snow run. That is a very, very, very big snow run. Like, very big. Like, so big that I need to catch it. Right now. Because it's big. Am I going to catch it? Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, add that to the list of new Pokemon. There's a Piplup right there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, but I don't care right now. And look, there's the Articuno Shrine. Rip the dream. But, um, slash PC. Let's uh, check out our new friend that I just acquired. Snow Runt, Snow Runt. Hello, Snow Runt. What are your IVs, Snow Runt? Absolutely, positively Honestly, second best to what I have. That's on par with my for alligator. Wait, slash IV3? No! Wait, what? I thought my for alligator had 68%. Wait, wait, now I'm confused. Who had 650? Yeah, I just did that. Who has. Wait, really? I thought I had one that had 68. Snowrun's got the best IVs of every Pokemon I've ever. Okay. Hey, Snow Runt, what's your uh, stats looking like? Increase attack, lower special defense. What are your moves like? Icy Wind. Dang it, you're a special attacker. But you got Bite. Um, Alright, guys. You battle strategists out there, add Snow Runt to your calculations because we just got one. And you guys are probably wondering, what the heck are you talking about? Guys, anyone who's in my comments, I always say feel free to critique the Pokemon that I have. In other words, say which ones that I have caught that I should put on my team or replace just to even it out because guys I'm not a Pokemon strategist I just go for the cool looking Pokemon or the giant Pokemon or the baby Pokemon or anything that's cool and such and all the legendaries always all the legendaries but like I don't normally say like well this one's the best for electric type attacks so I'm gonna get him with his increase in speed and stuff like I don't do that that's up to you guys to do, because that is not my style. That's your guys' style. All you battle strategists out there. So, yeah. Any of you want to um, ever cal... Not really calculate. You don't do that much work. But, like, anytime you guys want to just comment and say, like, Hey, switch out, like, Carvana for Snow Run. It will help you out a lot. I will definitely make that make that um, change. Just because... But do not... I repeat, I repeat, I repeat. Do not say, go out and catch this Pokemon. Not going to happen. They're my Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what I mean by that statement, but, um, no, like, I, I, I'm not gonna go and make, like, a specific team, but 
if it's a Pokemon I already have and you'd like to say, yeah, this would be a perfect Marie. thing to add to your team, I will definitely do so. Um, that being said, I'm like surrounded by Pokemon now. I was just complaining a minute ago about how there's no Pokemon here. Speaking of no Pokemon, where is the legendaries? Hello? Legendaries? Like, guys, where are you? I want you to spawn in so I can screenshot you and clickbait the crap out of my titles. Just kidding, I would never do that to you guys. I always post very accurate titles and very accurate thumbnails. I do not post fake. Okay, well, there was the Mega Gengar one, but that's besides the point. Guys, what we need is to kill this Team Rocket member that has red hair. Oh my gosh, I think that's a girl and she has red hair. I found the love of my life. Come here, Team Rocket slave. Magnemite. All right, I'm killing you. It's not red hair. Magnemite. It's it's like a it's like a pinkish Magnemite. red, so not my type. So I'm gonna kill it now. Magnemite. Flame wheel, and yes, I just called that NPC an it because it's an NPC and not a real person. You're learning life lessons Magnemite. with me, guys. Don't worry. All right, Ice Fang. Um, shield on. You're gonna have to pick up the slack. Carvana is easily becoming my weakest Pokemon. Shieldon has leveled up, actually. Oh, a Dodrio. All right, Toxic. There was always this, like, rumor or, like, thing going around for a while in Pokemon that, like, normal types took extra poison damage. Or, like, they were, they were like, weak to poison, even though it's never been confirmed. And how am I burned? Did I miss something here? I'm fighting a Dodrio. Oh, I just realized I'm fighting a Dodrio. I thought I was fighting a Doduo. Anyways, yeah, how am I... Well, I'm dead now, but that's just weird. Wait, what? What? Excuse me? You what, mate? I don't know how that... I didn't mean to hit that command. I don't know how that just happened. I won. And now my shield on stronger than my Tropius, but I just won that fight. With... How? I mean, I was gonna win, obviously, but I mean, like, I don't know how I won with shield on. Interesting, interesting. Shield on, you're becoming quite an interesting tank, I might say. Um, but yeah. Now Shield on's like number four in the list. Jeez, he's moving up in the food chain. And now poor Tropius and Carvana sit there to like feast on his remains because he just, just he's never gonna. He's just gonna keep leveling up, and I spy with my little eye a trader in the forest. What do you got for me, trader? Don't run away. Oddish. Did he just? Oh, there he is. Um. Oh my gosh! If I give me a mogul, he'll give me a gigalith. I. Oddish. I. You know. I'm just gonna teleport really quickly to the jungle. And um. So guys, it looks like for the rest of this episode, we're looking for an emolga. Now, I'm pretty sure he despawns when I teleport away, but just in case he doesn't, we're looking for an Emolga. I don't know why I just replanted that sapling. We're trying to destroy the forest, not replant it. Um, Emolga! Emolga, where are you? Emolga's like an electric-type Pokemon from Generation 5, but um, a Gigalith is also from Generation 5, but oh my gosh, is that thing strong. Like, that's like pseudo legendary strong we need that thing um i can't believe that's a trade <laughs> i don't know why he wants me molga that badly that he's willing to give up a gigalith but more power to him honestly if he wants to like fair enough free country i guess even though we're in a virtual world i guess it's a free country is minecraft free have we ever even, like, like, the only lore in Minecraft is at the very end when you defeat the Ender Dragon, there's that whole, like, text. That's the entire, like, lore of Minecraft right there for you, so. Is, like, Minecraft ruled by the monsters, or the mobs, or do, like, we rule? Because, is it, like, the story of us, like, slowly getting better, harder, faster, and stronger, and then Emolga, 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 Emolga! Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys, 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 I need focus, focus, where's Emolga? Emolga, 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 wait, Emolga, I need him with the Pokeball, Emolga, Emolga, stop being tiny and cute, come here, Emolga, e oh my god, good thing this thing can't fly, Emolga, actually, I kind of wish it could, it would be easier to hit, there we go, 
Emolga, Pokeballs, Quick Ball, go! Alright, so like I was saying, so yeah, Minecraft lore, is it like... Um... Is... <laughs> Emolga was sent to your PC. I'm not even checking the dang stats on it. I might have to in a minute here. Are you here? Traitor! Oh no! Traitor! Traitor! Did I just catch an Emolga for no reason? I, I'm just saying, guys, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I was just kind of leaning this false hope that he was going to still be there. Um, so, yeah, we just got a free Emolga. Didn't really want the Emolga. Um, slash IVs. This thing's gone amazing, IVs, I swear. 17%. Of course it's horrible. Thank goodness. I was really worried there that I actually caught something amazing. Alrighty, Emolga. Sadly, you're just going to sit there for all eternity, but um, I guess we'll go back to our exploring. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the... I keep getting sidetracked and sidetracked over sidetracked, but yeah, guys, the lore of Minecraft. If any of you guys actually know the lore, I would love to hear like a brief summary about it in the comments section. I'm not asking you to write me a novel, but I just would be curious. Like, what is the story? Is it just of a, like, Steve, the character, or Alex, I guess, now, the girl character, um, like, just slowly getting better over time and then eventually conquering everything? Like, ruling the world? Or is it the mobs that eventually rule the world? Like, that's so confusing. Like, the whole story of Minecraft. Because there's no real story of Minecraft until that ending text when it's literally two random people talking about you. And we know one is Notch. And the other person... Oh my god. 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 Trade! Yes! We did it! Guys! We just got a Gigalith! I can't. How did that? How did sprout. that is a big bell sprout? How did that just happen? That wasn't the same guy. That definitely was not the same guy. Or could it have been? No, there's no way. That was not the same guy. He despawned. That means another trader respawned and just happened to be that guy Fine. with the exact same trades. Fine. Of all the millions of trades that could have happened, we just got the same trades again. Fine. I'm pretty sure. That wasn't the same guy, though. Like, guys, if you think it's the same guy, comment down below. But I really do not think it's the same guy. And I'm realizing now that I just got sidetracked again. But, yeah, I really do not think... Oh, look, Thunderstone Sharks. But, um... Yeah, there was, that definitely was not the same guy. It had to have been a new respawn. But it just happened to be the same spawn. So, guys, I guess... Please don't crash my game. Oh, my gosh, we got a Gigalith. It's kind of horribly, like... Is, are they supposed to look like this? I feel like it's a little bit badly textured. But it does not matter because we just got a Gigalith. What's its EV, IVs? And if you if this thing's above 50%, I'll be happy. What's its EVs? Or IVs? 47. Rip the dream. Why did I just hit that button? Rip the dream. What am I doing? I'm trying to hit E. All right. Stats. Yeah. Do you want to increase these giants? So apparently that's the uh, big one. Alright, he knows sand attack, hard and tackle him, but wow, this guy definitely doesn't know much. So, I'm not going to put him on my team right now, but in the future, definitely something to look into. Um, that's like a very strong third tier evolution Pokemon you can have. Like, definitely not, he's not weak, I'll tell you guys that much, but I don't know if he's strong? I... Definitely in the comments, let me know if Gigalith is, like, A-OK, -okay, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, if he's, like, 11, or if he's, like, negative 1. I definitely want to hear about that in the comments, but, um, guys, I guess on that note, we're definitely not going to get something better happening this episode. So, um, I guess we'll end off the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you did, definitely hit that like button, share your support. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Minecraft modded content like so. And also stay tuned because tomorrow we got your favorite or spawn series going up on the channel. So definitely stay tuned and check that out when it uploads. Again guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.